Hey there everyone and welcome back to the WordPress series. So in this video, we're going to talk about the content and I hope everybody is now familiar with the installation thing and just kind of a basic setup of the WordPress, of course, on the local host. Now let's go ahead and proceed on the content that you can put on the WordPress website. Now at the initial days, WordPress was only meant to publish posts and that's it. But now things have changed and entire WordPress website can act as a full fledged website or maybe a mix of website and blog post as well. Now on this page, you can see we have got four types of content that you can publish onto a WordPress website and that is post, media, pages and comments. Now, of course, obviously the comments are dependent on the third party readers who are reading your content on your pages. Uh, but rest of the other three things, uh, which is post, media and pages is totally dependent on you, how you want to publish them. And obviously the question that arises here is, should I be using a post or should I be using a pages? Now for any kind of WordPress developer or WordPress uh, setup kind of a person, uh, understanding the difference between the two things is super important and you should always uh, keep that in mind, whether you should publish a post or a pages. Now, I always uh, give the simple question to you uh, that will help you to answer the question thing uh, that whether you should have pages or post. And the answer is the question is actually, uh, should you be uploading uh, the link of that page or post uh, in your navigation menu bar? It is really as simple as that. Now, just try to assume that you are about to hit something known as about us of a website. Now, about us. Yes, definitely. It needs to go into your menu bar or the navigation bar. That means it should be pages. Now, obviously, the major difference here is that the post actually is time based, uh, just like your Facebook post or your Twitter post. They keeps on going at the down as uh, the time progress. But something known as the about us page, terms and condition page or the legal pages or contact us pages. These pages don't go down with the time. They don't just disappear with the time. They are always meant to be there on the website. So that is why these kind of things should always be uh, they be created as a pages. On the other hand, rest of the things, your all articles uh, like the iPhone launch or an Android N launch or Android O launch, whatever there is, it should usually go in the in the post. Now, technically on the background side, uh, everything is usually like a post, but yes, uh, there are subtle differences, but most of the time, most of the things are equivalent to the post. Okay, so I hope this clears up your query that whether should I be creating a page or a post. Now, again, both of your pages and posts can consist of any kind of uh, data there. It can be a text, it can be an image, it can be a video, or it can be an embedded video like YouTube's and other stuff. So uh, let's get started first of all and talk a little bit about these posts. So on the home page of the dashboard, you can see there is a quick draft here where it says title and what's on your mind and you can save it the draft. Now, yes, you can write your drafts here and can publish them later on as a post, but I don't recommend, th recommend them uh, much to the beginners here. All I recommend is you can go to the post and you can check all of your posts here. You can add a new post, you can add a new category and tags. We will talk about the categories and tags a little bit later. Right now, let's just click on the add new and we are going to add a new post. Now, you might be seeing that there is uh, something here which says add a post, uh, which says enter your title here and you can add your content here. Yes, it's a good place to get started. But before that, I would recommend you to go ahead and do one setting here. And also, I will tell you one of the interesting thing. So let's just call this as test post. There we go. And I'm not going to save that as a draft. I'm not going to publish it as of now. I'm going to just uh, move back onto my dashboard. And notice it says, do you want to leave the site? Yes, I want to leave this site. And uh, now let me show you that uh, going to the post and all posts. Uh, the great thing about this uh, WordPress is it saves all of your data. So test post notice it has automatically saved it as a draft, a very, very uh, good lifesaver there that in case accidentally you moved away from the page or something happened and you closed your, brow your browser, it automatically saves your draft. It saves a really, really good time there. Now, before you start writing any post or pages, go into your appearance and uh, not in the appearance, uh, go into your settings and go to your permalinks. Again, go to your settings and go to permalinks. Okay. And here you will see some of the common settings for your blog post. Now, depends on what is your preferences, you may want to select different things here. Now, right now it says custom structure, which has year, month, day, and then the post name. I usually don't like this. I like the post name. 
uh, which is something like this. You can have your website name and then after you have sample post name. Now from the SEO perspective, this is the, the best uh, setting you can have. But again, uh, there are different perspective and different uh, scenarios where you might want to select that. But this is one of the best I can suggest to you. Now at the Learn Code Online website, if you'll go on to this uh, link or any link, you'll notice we are following the same structure here of the every page. So whatever the title name is, we usually like to keep the URL as same as it is. So here also we are going to select the post name and we are going to hit save changes. There we go. Okay. And basically what this uh, link is doing, uh, this permalink thing is making some edits and changes in your htaccess file. Now htaccess file is always there onto your website. It's usually hidden. I will be talking about these htaccess file later on in the series itself. Uh, but it's a good point of editing these things. If you're already aware about the htaccess, you can always write your own rule, but I don't think so that's needed. Okay, so let's go back into your post and hit on the all post and we're going to go into the test post now. Now what you'll notice that now your permalink is completely on dependent on you. So for example, it was a test post now, but you can always change it. For example, let's go on to the Learn Code Online website and uh, let's go for the 10 qualities for a perfect programmer. A very great post if you want to read that out. So let's just look out for this uh, title here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. Now it's not going to change it uh, as soon as you edit your title here. It just changes it for the very first time. But since you get an edit button here, you can always change this. Now the interesting part here is that whenever you add these things, please don't add the spaces there. It is not at all recommended. In the previous days, people used to use uh, these underscores as well, but the latest guideline says of the SEO that you should use a hyphens instead of underscore. So replace all of your uh, spaces with the underscore. Case sensitivity doesn't really matter uh, in case of SEO perspective, uh, but it's, it's okay. It depends on you how you really want to go with that. Oops. So I'm going to change that to all the dashes and there we go. So this is now our URL, which is much better. Make sure you hit the OK to save it. And now URL is completely set. Now, how you want to add content on your website is totally on you. And obviously, there is a saying that content is always king. So uh, make sure you write really good. It doesn't really matter that it should be absolutely good in, in case of grammars and all those punctuations. Yes, it really uh, matters a little bit. but on the end of the day, it's the content that you really want to serve and it should be original. So what we're going to do as of now, we are going to just take some of the content from here and we have some great images, some of the paragraphs and headings. I will show you the links where you can uh, have those awesome images without having the knowledge of Photoshop and other things. Surely we are going to do that. As of now, let's just uh, have some of the headlines here. So uh, we're going to just take some of the borrow some of the things here, traits of a great programmer. Let's just copy that and paste that. It doesn't look good. So what you get with the WordPress post is this top menu bar. And if I'll toggle this, you have a lot more options to explore. Now, as a simple exercise, I will give you the option to explore all of these uh, buttons, what they do and how you can edit that. So for example, I can select this and can change this to heading one and it will become a heading one. And obviously if I just add a little bit more content, let's just say, uh, a couple of paragraph there uh, just like that and I'll add one more there okay and what you'll notice that right now this says as paragraph now obviously depends on your situation how you want to edit that most of the editing uh, edits and everything are being mentioned to you for example this is a programmatically thing that you can have pre-formatted or you can have like heading six there or if you want to have just a paragraph, uh, it is also there. You can just change it back to paragraph. There are also availability of different fonts and everything. Right now, let's not go into the depth of that. Uh, but one more thing I would like to mention here is that as soon as you move on to the text part, uh, everything will be shown to you as kind of a code perspective. So if you're good in HTML or a little bit CSS, you can actually manipulate all of your posts just directly here. Uh, that's a good way, but most of the people use WordPress because they want, don't want to code everything just like that. So it's okay uh, if you want to just use that. So as of now, we're going to save our draft. And uh, notice we are not adding any categories, any format, any tags, or any featured image as of now. So that's why we are not publishing it. Surely in the future, we are going to add more things into this blog post. And I'll show you all the ins and outs of these things. 
I think this is more than enough for just one video. So now you have knowledge about pages and post and which one you should be using, which one you should not be using. Just on to one more note that I want to give to you in this that most of the posts have an option to have comments at the bottom of the post so that user can interact with you. But by default, all of your pages, the comments and the author section will be disabled there. And it really makes sense. You don't want some comments on your about us page or contact us page. You want all of your comments onto some kind of iPhone release or Android end release, all such kind of post. So make sure you also keep that in mind. That's it for this video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.